Don't crowd everybody. There's enough for everyone. That's right. Official Corley Motors smash. That should put some life into it. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Don't go way empty handed. Hey, don't go in there. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. Now it's just me and the bunnies. you back. surprises. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Don't think so.
I, I don't walk. I don't walk. Closed mechanically in a serious way, rusted too. Don't let the power company after me too. Wow, this place sucks up the juice. Thank you. 
That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures! Rack them up! Let's rip them quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben. You're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <laughs> Malcolm once... Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Your father. I said shut up about my dad. I'm losing my temper, Maureen. And you're about to lose much more. Let me go or else... Or else what? I'll get blood all over your driveway. That's good for the landscaping, actually. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call your names. <laughs> like what? Mink farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call your names. <laughs> like what? Diaper Dynamo. How... How'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... That role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders' meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Ripburger canceled the shareholders' meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders' meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow your little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And then just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. 
please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pile Up, Doreen Schmorley. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight, a deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Mm. Try and get away now, guys. All right, now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin. Hang on, Mo. Here I come. Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. What are you doing? Get over here and nail me! these other cars forever. That car stalled when I bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Can't see any surprise. 
five. Wait, what's that? It's the Unknown Avenger, and he's on fire! Let's give him a hand, folks. That looks painful. We really should put him out right away, but what a show, huh? Still no sign of Ms. Morley. That's the way out, but I can't get through. I guess the Avenger never heard of stop, drop, and roll, huh? He's still going. <laughs> what a pain threshold. Man, quit clowning around and make a diversion. I am a diversion. No offense, but we need a bigger one. The bike is guarded. Who cares about the bike? Mo says it's important, so we're not leaving without it. All right, I'll see what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. That's the way up, but I can't... This is your moment, little friends. It looks like the party's getting a little out of hand. The stadium seems to be catching fire, but let's all remain calm and... He's over. Run for your lives! Finally. Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. Finally got him, Volus. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. And give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike, but I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot and you're in. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. 
And if I line up that crack with my eye level and kick the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Right. Hmm. Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. Furniture moving? No. I'm not putting my lips on furniture moving. Locked. Looks like the meeting started. Was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected, Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. Ah, Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Oh, security! Help! Security! What took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Move it. 
Mavis must be saying things. It's locked. It's locked. Locked. Furniture moving? No. Look at that stadium burn. That's gonna take a bite out of the pension fund. Thick glass. Shatterproof. Man, that Rip Burger can yap. Where does he get this crap? Ah! Help! Security! It was that same guy, the big one. Catch him this time, will ya? This is gonna get old fast. sort of card. A tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. <laughs> <laughs> 